Okay, yeah, started recording. Hello friends, uh, in my previous video, I've shown you how, how you can install the NetApp Simulator on ESXi host and configure and uh, use it for your lab practice and stuff. Okay, now uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll add a second node into the same cluster and okay, it will make uh, this cluster as full-fledged uh, two-node cluster that will help us to achieve the high availability and stuff in the production environment if you want to simulate okay that we'll see okay so let's continue with the steps what we did so far in the previous video here it is okay and then my next steps are deploy second NetApp simulator Okay, install. Same. Configure. Okay, let's see. This is the three steps. Minimize. Go to and I'll go to NetApp demo. Deploy. Same OVF template. Okay. Click next. NetApp demo simulator two. Select second SSD, then provisioning. I'll put it on same VLAN 20. You can put on any other VLAN, it's not an issue. But yeah, let's keep it simple. Okay, finish. So, deployment sets are not. Won't take much time, hardly half a minute. I'm trying to make the videos less than 15 minutes, but unfortunately, there's a lot of things to cover within the scope. So I'm I'm trying to cover as as much as possible within the time window. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, completed. Open a console. Off screen. So now you need to press Escape. Got the screen. Let me come back and let me go to Chrome. And this is the right serial number. Let me get the serial number from here. Oh, not this one. I'm sorry. Uh, here. Okay. This is a serial number. Where is my second serial number? License be not first cluster serial number. This is my second serial number. Remember. Okay, done. What is the command? Set sys underscore serial underscore and you have equal to serial underscore and you have equal to. Let me come back. And see four zero three four three eight nine zero six two. Same right? Four zero three four three eight nine zero six two. Done. Okay, now press boot. It will automatically boot into the screen. Okay, it's booting. Now press Ctrl C for the boot menu. Now select four for clean configurations. Steps remain the same. Only the references. Click S, click S. That will reboot automatically and install the simulator. Let's wait. Let me note down these small steps. So I have documentation here. After deploying, it's the same. There's no change, right? So steps remain the same. Okay, after deploying, what I did before Control C, uh, 
escape run this command set sys underscore serial underscore and we have equal to whatever the number you want to provide the serial number and then boot and then rest of the steps what are the rest of the steps are documented the same These are the additional steps. These are the additional steps I did. Rest all the configuration details remain same. I'll simply copy paste all the configurations. Okay. I'll not do this. Yeah. This one. Configure. Say 52. That's the only the change. Okay, let's continue and see. System initialization has completed. Okay, continue. Yes, E0C. To change right 192 168 20.52 192 168 20.1 is a gateway right so no changes and I want to continue with the cluster configuration and now this time what I need to Remember, do you want to create a new cluster or join into the existing cluster? That's the question. New cluster or join into existing one. So now I need to press join. Remember this one. Okay, join. This configurations, yes. Now I need to provide some details. Let me go back and get those details from on tap manager out here. Here I'll go to network interfaces. You'll see these are the cluster interconnect IPs. I need to provide this. Okay. 169, 254, 41, 196. This I need to provide over there. Okay, then I'll explain when we're discussing about cluster interconnect and how, how that works and all. And then in the next coming sessions. Okay, enter that. What is, what is it asking for? Enter the IP address of an interface on the private cluster network from the cluster you want to join. Means, okay, provide the details to which cluster you want to join. Okay, so I'll provide 169.254.41 no, 196. So that will automatically join. Now you don't need to provide any cluster uh, IP information at all because cluster is already assigned with IP, right? Cluster IP is 50 and node 1 IP is 51, node 2 IP is 52. So it's done. That's it. Nothing else. So if I want to the same password previously, what I have provided. So nothing. That's it. Done. Okay. Now if I go to dashboard, I'll see two nodes. Two nodes. Okay. Just refresh. Here you go. Okay. Nodes. You see the serial number. System ID is remain same, but the serial number got changed. I'll go to licenses. Okay. 
Okay, add. What is the base license? Let me go back to the base license here. This is the base license. Now I'm trying to apply the base license and see if it works. Not sure why it is showing as depreciated. Already installed. Here it is. Let me, okay, delete. Can I be logged? That's fine. Okay. Let me log into the command prompt. Okay. Appearance font. IP 192.168.20.50 Yes Admin Password Okay Now system Our status Yeah, let's take license. I need to add. Let's take any one license. Yeah, six. Copy this one. System license. Add. Source code. Press it. Yes. Okay. Comma. I'll give the second node one as well. Licenses and successfully. Let me go back to here and refresh it. I'll see somewhere. Six licenses added successfully for both the nodes. Okay, yeah, see for both the nodes. If I want to add an NFS, let's add. Oh, sorry, it will not support the basic commands. License. Add license code. So we'll copy the or it is NFS license for node one, comma NFS license for node two. See both of them are installed. I'll go to NFS refresh. We'll see, NFS is installed. Okay, this is how you can manage from the command line. Same thing, you can do the same here. You can do. Okay, let's, it's easier. All right, let's see. Go to dashboard. You have around 25 disks, it's saying. Okay, and there is, if you look at the corner, there's preview the new experience for 9.1 it is not fully operational so I guess read only on mode you can view the 9.6 version okay there it is two NetApp simulator boxes and shelf one shelf two shelf one shelf two or nice nice UI okay that's it cluster overview this is my clusters configuration. Then settings we have nothing configured, nothing licensed. If you look at go to this, four disks are there. These are the disks. Okay, so uh, need to proceed with the rest of the configurations. If you look at the IPs, 50, 51, 52 are the production IPs, and these are the internal cluster IPs. All right. If you look at the current ports, A, B, A, B, and C, D, C, where is the D, oh, C, C, and 
So cluster management is the on one node. Cluster management uh, NIC, you can fail over from here and there. Okay, that will see rest of the configurations. Right, uh, go to storage overview, file shares and cloud tearing. As we can see, most of the stuff. Storage VMs, none of them are there. Okay, so nothing you can do here. I can say if I go to learns, you'll not be able to create. There is no create options anywhere because it's just a preview. Okay, this, this is real only preview. Return to classic version. Here you need to do the rest of the stuff. Okay, so and from command line you can manage everything. Okay, let me stop recording here. Right.